Capsicums are an easy to grow vegetable that add color and flavor to salads, stews, and casseroles. They are rich in vitamin C and other nutrients and come in all shapes and sizes with a wide range of colors. Flavors range from sweet and mild to hot and spicy. It might seem strange, but capsicums are also related to tomatoes, chilies, potatoes, and eggplants as they all belong in the nightshade or solinicae family. Hence, farmers are reminded to always keep this in mind when rotating crops in your veggie patch. To learn more on capsicum farming, we speak to Noah Naiseli Kadima, a horticulture expert. He has also ventured into capsicum farming for the last 13 years. Uh, most of the crops that I grow are watermelon, basically horticulture, watermelon, onions, tomatoes. Uh, capsicum starting out as one of my best crops as well. Uh, the crop that I started farming, uh, that was my first crop. Uh, yes, I also am the admin founder of Africa Farmers Club, which is a group uh, of uh, uh, more than 140,000 farmers across Africa and we share information and share knowledge. Capsicums, better known as pilipili hoho or sweet chili, are a hardy plant that requires slightly warm temperatures than tomatoes or cucumbers. The crop grows well in altitudes of up to 2,000 meters above sea level with a rainfall of between 800 to 1,200 millimeters per annum. It requires well-drained soils that are rich in nutrients with a pH range of 5.5 to 6.5. Well, capsicum farming is very interesting. Uh, one, it is not uh, the crops that uh, you can say uh, get, get it rich quick. No, but it's a crop that can, uh, you can actually perfect it over time. Uh, it is a crop that you can start small, and then you, know, you, you scale. Uh, but most of, most of it for me, uh, having done it for some time, for, it is one of the crops that are a bit easy to maintain as well and with good returns as well, if you manage your production well. Capsicums are commonly grown from seeds or seedlings, but sometimes a farmer can spot small plants available at the nursery. The crop likes to be sown into warm soil, so in colder areas, wait until the last frost has passed before you plant. Water in new plants with eco seaweed to help them settle in faster and then mulch around them. Both, uh, there, there are two types of also farmers. There are those ones who are doing it commercially, uh, large scale. Some are doing on uh, probably improved uh, irrigation methods, probably like a drip lines, and some are doing on farrow. But generally what we can take through is it's a, it's a 12, max, it's normally a maximum of 12 weeks uh, uh, after transplanting. But before transplanting, you buy the seeds. One of the things that you really need to do is that uh, when, you, when you're buying the, when you're, when you're doing your own nursery, you have the, 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 that period where you can actually make sure that you make the, one of the most important investments in that farm. The germination of capsicum is one of the biggest challenges. So make sure for what, for, for me what I do is that I put it in some warm, lukewarm, warm water uh, overnight and then I uh, put it with a seed dresser. Uh, most of the time, uh, the best seed dresser that I've used over time is, is called Apron Star uh, from, from Syngenta, which has worked perfectly well. So make sure you do that. It can stay overnight. Then in the morning, make sure you, you sow. And uh, make sure that uh, what I do is that you water the, the ground very well. And then now you sow the seed the, the, in, the, in the nursery. Cover it well with grass, or if you have a net, you can cover it. Or if you have trays, you can use the uh, uh, the, the, the seed uh, mixers, uh, uh, it's called either cocoa pit or pit moss, which, whichever works well. Then uh, make sure you water it regularly. Uh, when the germination has uh, come up well, what you do is that you can remove the cover but now maintain at least one meter high uh, to, make, to, to have the cover. Uh, fast forward uh, six weeks and now you're ready to, to take the seedlings to the farm. When planting the seed or seedlings, farmers are encouraged to select a location which receives full sunshine as well as an area that protects the crop fully from wind, as too much wind can break the crop stems. I remember the first, uh, first time I bought uh, capsicum seeds, I bought them uh, the local variety, it's called the open field variety, the California wonder. So California wonder, and it did very well, uh, it, com considering it was my first time, I think I did less than an eighth of an acre. And it gave me very good, some good returns, I cannot say very excellent uh, uh, returns, but it gave me very good returns. 
uh, but I do not know how to take care of it. So I have a, we have a study, I remember I, 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 was, I was doing it with my wife and we have a study for, I think it was one month, it was one and a half months. And then uh, uh, all of a sudden we, it stopped bearing fruits and we did not know what the challenge was. Uh, so we, we left it and we said, okay, probably another crop. But come, uh, the rains, I think it was in November and it rained. Then one of the guys near our farm called me and told me, hey, but uh, how come you're not harvesting your, your capsicum? So I went back and uh, I saw a lot. I remember that particular day, we harvested around uh, 400 kilos. What we always advise farmers, especially from my experience, is the fact that you are not an island. So one of the things that you need to do is that you need to consult with other farmers. Visit farmers around you and, uh, or share information, explain. And that's what we do at, in Africa Farmers Club. We ask questions, farmers ask questions, which is a good variety. And somebody will ask you, which region are you in? You know, what is your soil type? Have you tested your soil? And uh, hence the reason why we, I, I always uh, advise farmers, ask for information. Don't just go and buy. You know, also, as you ask the question, you might get somebody who will tell you, this is not the right time of planting capsicum. Probably when you, when you harvest, uh, the prices will not be as high as, as another crop. You know, so asking questions and talking to other farmers, visiting other farmers, is one of the best resources that you can ever have. Capsicums perform best in fertile free draining soil, hence farmers are advised to enrich their soil beforehand with edged manure, compost or a certified organic fertilizer. When, you, when you're buying the, when you're, when you're doing your own nursery, you have the, 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 that period where you can actually make sure that you make the, one of the most important investments in that farm, test your soil. While improving the soil fertility, Nicely reminds farmers to keep an eye on the soil pH to ensure it remains acidic as dolomite and lime increase soil pH. Most commercial capsicum variety are hybrids, which have a primary mature color green, however, some may be yellow. Experts advise that it is usually good to pick the fruits when they turn red or orange as the crop is much sweeter at this stage and has more pro-vitamin A. There are also black, cream and brown and lime colored varieties. I have done uh, three other different varieties. Uh, one has been an Indo variety, uh, it's called Commandant from Syngenta, a very, very, very good variety. Mostly for the, I can say for this, like supermarkets if you're, if you're, if you're growing that, uh, because it, 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 it gives very big fruits, you know, uh, which is good for pe most people who are buying, uh, who are supplying supermarkets. The other two varieties are uh, Superbell. Uh, Superbell is now where now, uh, uh, probably I can say like more of an improvement. And it's a good variety uh, for most areas in, in, in Kenya. Uh, but mainly for at least uh, medium to hot uh, re regions. The one that I am growing now, and the way I'm stuck now, and I, I and I think I'll get, I'll stick there for some time, is called Indra from uh, from Syngenta. It's a very good variety. Uh, one of the things that I've seen and I've noticed is that germination rate is very good uh, for for Indra. Uh, it starts bearing fruits earlier than uh, some of the uh, varieties that I've, I've grown. Uh, so I'm hoping to actually harvest the first variety in the next like uh, one month. The whole idea behind uh, uh, open field variety and hybrid variety is because they it's because the hybrid varieties you will find that some of them actually most of them will have resistance uh, to probably some diseases uh, both soil borne diseases as well as uh, fungal uh, diseases and so when you when you're buying the hybrid varieties you stand a higher chance because even yield wise you will get tend to have uh, uh, a higher yield and most importantly, apart from that, that, that as well, you will be able to harvest for a bit longer. Because open pollinated, at the most you can harvest is probably three months, after, and, and that's a bit of a struggle. Uh, but the hybrid, you can harvest up to six months. Planting of the capsicum crop begins from the nursery. You can make sunken or raised nursery beds, although most farmers prefer sunken nurseries because they retain more water, more than raised nurseries. Small amounts of compost manure can be added to ensure strong and healthy seedlings. It normally takes about two to three weeks for the seed to germinate. After sowing, capsicum seedlings are normally ready for transplanting within a period of six weeks. Uh, sow the seeds uh, properly. Make sure that you you prepare the nursery uh, well. Mostly, it's normally uh, a width of uh, one meter, 
I need something comfortable like two meters or three meters as a nursery, depending on the uh, number of seeds that you want to sow. Uh, you also need to know the number of seeds that you need to sow for what acreage. So personally, I normally do between uh, 6,000 and 8,000 seeds per acre for a capsicum because it, uh, you, it needs some, some good space when it starts bearing fruits. And so that means that you need around, I can say, 1 125 to 150 grams of seeds. You plant them well, make sure that you, the nursery, you have mixed the farmyard manure properly. I've seen some uh, farmers putting, adding uh, fertilizer uh, in the nursery, but I do not advise them to do that because the seed, the, the, the seedling will be very small for it to even take any fertilizer. And then, uh, uh, so the farm yard manure will help in the, in the conditioning of the soil. And then uh, it is also high in, in, in phosphorus, so what it does, it, it will also help the, the root formation to be strong. Well, when you start from scratch, it's normally, uh, and especially if you are a new farmer, buying seeds might be the easiest, but sometimes might be the most challenging. Because unless you are very good in nursery management, you know, when you're preparing the nursery, actually preparing the nursery is one of the things that you really need to master. And so when you prepare the nursery, you need to make sure that you know and you have somebody there who will be able to like plant the seeds well, you know, space the seeds well, uh, cover the nursery, know the ratio of manure versus soil to use in the nursery as well. As well as apart from that also just uh, how you maintain that crop over, over, the, over the around four to six weeks. Then uh, again now how you are pruned from the nursery and take to the, to the farm. And so to, to avoid all that mix up and, make, and, and, and uh, sometimes it's more of a confusion because I remember when I, when I first planted uh, seeds, capsicum seeds, we lost almost 40% of the seeds. Buying seedlings sometimes is the easiest and the best because if you want 10,000 seeds as uh, plants, you will buy 10,000 uh, seedlings. And so for me, I always uh, propose and uh, advise farmers, it, is, it will be the best, it's, it's to the best of their, of their of, of, it's an advantage to them to buy seedlings, because you are sure. But not just buy seedlings, make sure you know where you're buying the seedlings as well. Uh, know at least the history, the seed, where it was purchased, and, 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 and that. So seedlings is the best, for, especially for farmers who are, who are starting. But even more experienced farmers these days are just buying seedlings, because they avoid the whole six weeks of taking care of a nursery.